Hey everyone, it's Mr. Delicious here and today I'm going to review a game for you named Not For Broadcast. Not For Broadcast is a very unique simulation game where you take on the role of a director of a national news show. The game is still in early development and it's been developed by Not Games and published by Tiny Build. And it came out almost a year ago. However, the developers have recently published a major update to the game that is adding a lot of new features. Footage that you'll see in this review was taken by my live stream over on Twitch. All gameplay is me experiencing this game for the very first time and therefore all my reactions are authentic and I haven't seen this game before whatsoever. Also, of course, please note that the picture of me that you see on screen is me playing the game live over on Twitch. So therefore, the voiceover and what I'm saying on screen don't always match up, so please don't get confused by that. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the review so I can show you what Not For Broadcast is all about. I've always wanted to have a job in television, so I feel this could be the closest I can get to a behind-the-scenes job. And let me tell you, it's not as easy as it sounds. As soon as you start a new game, you take control of the character who initially wasn't even there to set the scene, but a bizarre twist of fate turns you from a janitor into a director. In front of you on screen, you'll see various camera feeds that you can choose from. Next to that, you'll have two monitors, one preview monitor and one live monitor. There's roughly a two second delay between the two and it's up to you to choose the right angles that the audience will see. This seems easy enough, but there's a lot of things happening all at once. You'll have to make sure that you have commercial breaks queued up, guests tend to go off script from time to time so you want to beep out their swear words and unexpected things happening in the studio will keep you on the edge of your seat to make sure that the audience gets to see a perfectly orchestrated news broadcast and doesn't see any of the things happening behind the scenes. Ooh, okay, maybe a little bit too soon. Switching back to him. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. I don't want to switch too fast though because that would be, I find that annoying. What as well, like this has been. in real life too. Last starring role. I wonder how how much Sergeant I actually Bullock influence, Bullock like you know, how, what people enjoy. Like if I would switch constantly, would they actually care or not? I know. Yeah, yeah. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars. Oh, she was. Ah, uh, Megan, don't act as if you're not finding it interesting. A very cool aspect of this game is that all the video you'll see is live action. These are real actors who participated in making of this game, giving it just a little bit more atmosphere. The most fun moments occur when there's a commercial break, but the cameras are still rolling. You'll notice that the hosts of the show don't actually get along great, or that there's more going on with the guests than meet the eye. Oh wow, they're they talking about elections? That's very, uh, you know, on, on point. <laughs> and it was historic as well. Wow, this feels like this game is like knowing what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I, I, I didn't want to switch too much. Okay. Not fuck things up? Oh! He won't do it again. Shit, he did it again. <laughs> I think it's so funny that you actually see like what is happening in like the in the studio when you're not like you know focusing on on them. One thing you'll notice very quickly in this game is that multitasking is crucial. The first level starts off relatively easy, and you'll be taken through all the different options and buttons on the screen. But after that, you're on your own. At the top of your screen, you'll see a bar that represents the audience. Make bad switches and you'll lose viewers, but keep the camera on the action and more people will start tuning in. This system may seem obvious, but sometimes I found that I made calls that I would feel be made on real life television as well, but I actually lost viewers. It seems people watching this show really like drama and action. Okay, get ready to bleep. Okay, chat, we're gonna have to focus. Oh yeah, uh, oh man, we have to do so many things at once. Oh wait, that was too soon. Oh no, it was good? Okay. I'm sorry about the language. Sorry about that. Oh man, so many things to keep my eye on. That's so hot. Perfect. But to be honest, Thank you. who can blame Peter for celebrating? Honest, who can blame Throughout Peter the campaign, you've heard us say that the What kind of leaders are they? They're they're kind of drinking on live TV. In between your moments in the studio, you'll get short story portions. These are played out via text, and on several of them, you get to make a choice that will impact the rest of the game and story. Through these story moments, you actually get a better understanding of what is going on in the world of the game. Without spoiling too much, there's clear government propaganda happening, and this seems to have a major impact on your job as well. Pretty hard as well. So I would just focus on myself, and then after that, I would kind of introduce myself to everyone else. Question number two. A colleague in a different department has confided in you that they've been talk taking, home confidential don't bleh, taking home confidential information. Now a file of minor importance has gone missing. You would help your colleague cover up their violation, recommend that your colleague reports it, promise your colleague you won't tell anyone, 
Report the violation to your supervisor immediately. Ooh. I would... It kind of depends if how close I am to set colleague. If I don't like them, then, you know. <laughs> um, I probably would recommend that they report about it. I don't want to get involved in it myself, most likely. If I don't have to. Question number three. An entire department was fired today for consistent underperformance. Your boss has put in place new targets that are significantly higher than the previous ones. I would leave work on time, stay late to ensure you hit the first deadline, leave work early and head to the pub to chat about the change with colleagues, leave work early and head home to see your family. Knowing myself, I would definitely stay late, which is definitely not the, the best choice here. Um... But I know myself and I would probably do that. Either that or leave on time. I probably wouldn't leave early. But I'm going to go with stay late. Question number four. It's the annual company barbecue and you and your family have been invited. I am looking forward to enjoying a nice day out with friends and family and washing my hair that day. That's specific. Uh, go if I'm free but wouldn't mind missing it. Have been practicing with your co-workers and think you'll win the, t the talent contest this year. Um... Again, it totally depends on how much I like my job and my co-workers, but I'm probably go if I'm free, but wouldn't mind missing it. As you'll progress, the levels obviously also get harder with added elements like picking out the best supporting image for a story, buttons that electrocute you when you want to switch to them, and streakers that you'll have to avoid showing to the audience in a very random and insane sporting event. Oh, wow, you, did, you don't expect it. You clearly don't expect it. The banana was the ball. The game offers various features outside of the main game as well, like a free mode, a realistic mode with less guidance, specific music broadcasts where you have to edit on the beat, and much more. And after each finished broadcast, you get a score of your edit. And not just that, you can actually watch your edited broadcast with all the camera switches and choices that you made. And if that's not enough, you can actually dive deeper into the stories and the character by listening in on all the camera feeds that you didn't pick for the audience. By doing this, you'll get to see some fun things that otherwise would have probably been lost on you. Oh! Shit. That's all we have time for tonight. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, thank you. Let's go out to our guests. Uh, um, congratulations to, our guests. to all the winners. Wait, he's not looking so good. What's going on with him? We'll see you tomorrow night at the same time. Tomorrow night. My name is Jeremy Dolls. He's not looking too too yeah. fresh. Have a peaceful night. Good job, everybody. Are we still alive? Are we good? I think so, sort of. Just the same, sir. Wait, what's, go what's happening? Wait, did I die? Was that too much? It's for my nephew, so we transitioned the moment I saw the leak. Okay. What the hell was that? Oh man, this game is, like I said, this game definitely is uh, taking a very interesting turn. Not gonna lie, this is v taking a very interesting turn. Okay. Not for Broadcast is a very unique game with a very unique kind of simulation that I haven't seen before. The live action shots really draw you in and the story is surprisingly gripping. Choices you make really seem to have an impact and maybe unbeknownst to the developers, the storyline seems to actually draw a couple of parallels to the state our world is currently in as well. Multitasking is absolutely key, but when you get the hang of it, I feel this game can definitely keep you entertained for quite some time. Look, it's alright, I've got this. I'm sure he's on his way. Come on, it's welcome back. How hard can it be? This is on you. <laughs> Ten seconds, everybody! Welcome back. Megamore. We're gonna open on <clears throat> Megan. Camera two. Going in five. Oh, she actually said that to four, me. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I thought so, but I didn't really realize. Welcome Splack, I'm Megan.